In this video, we'll write the atomic orbital diagram for aluminum, that's Al, on the periodic table. But the first thing we have to do is write the electron configuration. And to do that, we look at aluminum here. Aluminum has 13 protons. This is its atomic number. Since it's neutral, like all of the elements on the periodic table, it also has 13 electrons. So that's what we're going to work with here for our electron configuration. Aluminum, that's right here on the periodic table. So we're just going to follow the pattern till we get to aluminum. So we start out first energy level, we have 1s1, 1s2. Then we go to the second energy level, we have 2s1, 2s2. And we continue across, and here we are, 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, p, that holds 6. And we're back over third energy level, 3s2. Let's give ourselves some more room here. And we go across, and here's aluminum. Aluminum is 3p1. So we've used all 13. If you count these up, that adds up to 13. So this is the electron configuration for aluminum. Now we can write the orbital diagram for aluminum. So the orbital diagram, it's really the same thing, just organized differently. You can imagine that the nucleus of the aluminum atom is here, and we're just putting these energy levels, kind of like shells, around it. So what we'll do is we'll look at our electron configuration. We have 1s2. We put them in opposite directions there. 2s2, two electrons, opposite directions. 2p6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3s2, and then we only have one 3p1. So this is the atomic orbital diagram for aluminum. You could also write it like this here, and we just fill it in the same way. All of these are just representations of where the electrons are around the nucleus of the aluminum atom. So that's it. This is Dr. B with the atomic orbital diagram for aluminum. Thanks for watching.